Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain a simple concept but a very important question in an interview point of view. So, what is the difference between procedure oriented programming and object oriented programming? Like, what is the difference between a C programming, like a Java programming, or any object oriented programming language? So what is the main difference? See different examples they will provide and different, uh, different answers you will get actually is whenever you are looking for the solutions. The one main reason, just what is the difference? The main difference is what? Security. Just the data security, that's all. In procedure oriented programming, there is no security. It's everything is visible to other program so that other program can access the information directly in object oriented programming it's not like that it is completely secure and of course as a programmer we have to implement the security sir why in c language like in a procedure oriented programming there is no security just because access modifiers concept is not there simple answer there is no concept called access modifiers like private protected public see we cannot set the access specifications nothing but access permissions on the data in c language so like we can say that uh, take one header file for example stdio.h one header file is there if that header file is visible is whenever you connect using hashing through this preprocessor directive is whenever you connect with stdio.h and no more restrictions if it is visible then you can access the information of stdio.h header file directly how many functions are present inside and what are the variables are present inside the stdio.h everything is public simply if you connect you can access the complete information in object oriented programming it's not like that even though you establish the connection we can stop accessing the members from that program how can we stop means just by defining the function or variable as a private suppose if it is a private right another program cannot access the information directly suppose if it is protected some inheritance concept we need to implement parent child relation is required and if it is a public is okay it allows everyone to access directly right so means what even though we establish the connection between the programs one program cannot access the information of another program directly if it is object oriented programming that's all what is happening in the real world generally real world is like a object oriented world we are objects simply we can say because for example i am visible to you can you tell me what is my mobile number can you tell me what is my account number where i am staying no so that is my information actually that's private right for example if you want to get such type of inf messages means what some um, information if you want to get you have to request me that is through communication only you will get the information directly one person cannot access the information of another person that is what general security in a real world the same thing we can implement in a virtual world also if it is object oriented programming if it is procedure oriented programming it's impossible so then why the people using c language it's okay the applications are not secure the why people most of the applications are developing still using c language only remember one thing for every application security is not important the main thing for every application security is not required for example take a small electronic device like a calculator just consider to work with that calculator is what is required one program is required like embedded system program suppose we are developing using c language and you have installed that into that electronic device for example in the calc do you need to provide security to that calculator after installation of that one no not required 
See, for every application, security is not required. Are you performing any money transactions using that Calci? Are you performing any data transactions? Are you sending any confidential data in the network using the calculator? No. Then why security is required? Everywhere, security is not required. In every application, no need to implement the security. There, we are using, there we are using C language. That's the reason. Almost all the embedded system applications, they are developing using C language microchip based micro memory based programming is completely they are developing still using c language only where security is not required if security is required go with object oriented approach so this is the main reason so in the interview if they ask the question just differentiate procedure oriented and object oriented means examples easy procedure oriented means what suppose c language Object oriented means what? Different languages are there C, Java, .NET, Python, Android, anything you can use. So, definitely they will ask the next question what is the difference between procedure oriented and object oriented? Simple answer Procedure oriented applications means not secured, object oriented means what? Secure. And the next question will be how you will implement security, security in object oriented programming? A simple answer using the concept of access modifiers we can decide who is allowed to access and who is not allowed to access the functionality that's all if there is no security then what is the use of c language means what answer for every application security is not required the best example embedded system applications so that's the reason c language they are using in embedded system applications development only that is these are the questions and simple answers right so by using these answers is easily you can crack the interview i mean such type of questions hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you